In this video, we're going to learn how to use the rate function in Excel. The rate function is used to impute a rate when you know the cost of something and you know the weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual payments, and you know the period of time, but you don't know what rate is imputed to calculate that payment. So in this case, Let's say you wish to purchase a couch that you know would cost $3,000 for cash. You go to a furniture rental store that offers you a deal for $40 a week for three years. Well, what rate are you paying on the loan? Now realize that when you use the rate function, because these are weekly payments, what you're going to do is it will calculate a weekly rate. So what you want to do even before you look at that weekly rate is to take that weekly rate and multiply it by the number of periods in one year. So since this is a weekly payment, even before I calculated the weekly rate, I took the cell that will have the weekly rate, I multiplied it by 52 to impress that your, the rate that is calculated is not an annual rate. You shouldn't use that to compare that. You have to multiply it by the number of periods in one year. So now to use the rate function, I'm going to click in cell B11. I'm going to click formulas and financial. And then I'm going to scroll down until I see rate. Now when we see rate, we're going to have to think about what we're receiving and what we're paying and when. So in the N per, I'm going to click on cell B9, the number of years, but I'm going to have to multiply that by 52. So notice how it calculates the number of periods automatically, because if you're making weekly payments for three years, you're making 52 payments a year for three years. Now in PMT, this is very important. You're making those payments, so it has to be as a negative. So I'm going to type a negative and 40, again, because you're paying that. Now I'm going to move to the PV box. Now you're getting the couch, and you're getting the couch before you ever make that first payment. If you were saving up for the couch, um, then the couch would be in future value because you'd get it after the last payment was made. But because you get the couch before the first payment, the cost of the couch is a present value. Now that has to go in as a positive number because you're actually getting the couch. So in PV, I'm going to click on cell uh, B7. Now notice nothing else is really necessary type would be if the payments are at the beginning of the year or beginning of the week instead of the end of the week. In this case, it's a normal payment at the end of the week. And as I said, future value was if you were saving up for the couch and got it after the last payment. So now we click OK. The weekly rate is 1.09%, but we really can't look at that you are paying an annualized rate of 56.48%, so you'd actually be much better off borrowing on a credit card at 25% than purchasing the couch using this rental deal. 